custom pages and navigation. Um, I am going to go over this. I won't take me too long. So the first custom page that I suggest you do is adding your homekeeper blog. So for those of you that are new and don't know what the heck I'm talking about, we get homekeeper and homekeeper does a variety of things. But one thing it does is it gives us two blogs per week that come in our email. Um, so that we know we, we have them two branded to, to us blogs. So that's one thing that it does. So, and the other thing is does is these, it has a blog widget. So here I have all these, all my custom pages here, buyer guide, homeowner tips, and I click on homeowner tips. And it's got my homekeeper blog just automatically, my automatic um, stuff. <laughs> I can't talk when I get tired. I don't have words anymore. Um, it's got this stuff, okay? <laughs> it's got blogs that go in here and they're mine. Okay, so anyway, so um, it just is another way to put content on your website. Um, so this is what an example of one of the Homekeeper blogs look like. Um, it's a brand, it's branded to you. You set up your little profile, put your number, your email, your website. And then what you're gonna do too is you're gonna start referring local vendors in your area and you're gonna ask these local vendors to, to claim a profile on your Homekeeper app. And some of them are gonna do it. And then when you have, and this is so fun because this is a new article, but I asked this guy forever ago to claim a profile and he did. And so it shows is that he's one of my recommended vendors for foundation cracks. And guess what? He is actually, I, I've used him a few times. So, so anyway, that's a great way to develop relationships with your vendors. The other thing that your homekeeper app can do is your clients can use it to, to search for vendors that you recommend contractors, dentists, lawyers, hairstylists, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, um, you know, landscapers, Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's just a little bit. So that's what Homekeeper is. And now I'm going to show you how to add this to your website. So um, if you have not created your Homekeeper account yet, you have to create it at this particular link because this is the link that's going to give you the free premium account with eXp Realty. I'm going to put it in the chat. It's also in my template. Going back to the template, I have it right here. Okay. And then um, once you create your account and get your profile set up, you can sign in. All right. So here's your dashboard. And there's all your blog content. So you've got all this marketing materials. It's fun. I, you can add all your clients in here. I haven't done it yet, but someday. I share the content all the time though. I just haven't like added all my clients to it, but I'm sure it would be great for me to do such a beautiful thing. But right now we're gonna talk about adding this as a custom page. So I'm gonna click on embed widget. And there's two different widgets you could do. You could do your trusted pros widget where they could just search for a vendor that you want to recommend or just your blog widget, or you can use do both, but I'm just going to do the blog widget today. The blog widget code that you want to choose is the iframe, this one. So you can click copy code or just literally copy the code either way. And that's the code that you need. That's all you need. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to WebIDX. And we're going to go to custom pages view. So I've got my code that's going to populate my page. And um, I've already created this, but I'm just going to show you uh, what I would do if, if I hadn't yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new page. 
Thank the Lord this is semi working tonight. Now here, I could put different content here. So I could do a lot of variety of different types of custom pages, but I'm just showing you this one right now, okay? The one that we're doing is where I'm just embedding code, all right? So I'm gonna call this, I could call it Homekeeper app, or I'm gonna call it, I like to call it Homeowner Tips. You can decide for yourself. Then what you're gonna do is see where it says source code, you click on source code, looks like two little um, B's, like two lesser than, greater than size. <laughs> All right. And then you're just gonna paste the code and you're gonna click okay. And there it is, isn't it lovely? Now I can hit enter and if I wanted to type some stuff up here, I could. So like for me, I put join my homekeeper network and then I could put the link for my homekeeper network which is right here and I could paste that wherever right here okay I could do that let's say and then um Here's where it gets interesting. So if I'm gonna, if I wanna add more custom pages over time, and I do, and I will, um, I don't want like a ton of individual categories. What I want is I want to create um, a drop down like this so that my website looks clean and I only have five tabs here and I can have this drop down of all these other resources. Okay, so that's how, how I want it. Um, I think you can actually only have five or six anyway up here, but um, the thing that it forces you to do when you create this is you have to, you have to add a category. So I added the category more. So this means this is gonna be the drop down menu item more and I'm gonna drop down and then all the pages, all the custom pages I've created are gonna show up under this category of more. So there's my home ownership. So that's where we are and that's what I just did. New category, more. Um, I've already created that category. So it's here now under more so I could, so since I've already created this, you know, so maybe if you've already created a category, but if you're doing this for the first time, you have no categories and you have to create one. <laughs> All right. Now, you can create some meta tag descriptions and keyword descriptions and all that jazz. I'm not gonna get into that tonight. I am going to tell you that here in this little um, article, there's information on what to do there if you care. I don't even have anything on mine, you guys. <laughs> Personally, I don't. And then you're just gonna hit save, okay? And, and it's gonna be in there. Now, I'm not saving it because I already have mine. So, so um, here's what mine looks like. There it is. See, I don't even have any stuff in there. It's under the category where I see it. All right, and then you saw what it looks like. So that's all you do. All right, so now that we've created our first custom page and created our first category, more, what we wanna make sure of is that that category, more, that's gonna be our drop down menu category, like this is here. We wanna make sure that this, more, is gonna actually show up on the website. And there's something you have to do to make that happen. So, what you have to do after you create your first custom page and category is you're gonna to go to here, Web IDX, and then Edit Settings. Okay? Now, you're gonna choose Custom Navigation. As you're scrolling down, which my computer needs to catch up with me, you will notice these two options select custom pages for navigation 
or select categories for navigation. You're going to select the category of more and then save it. And what, as you, as you start typing, uh, it will give you the categories you've created that it'll give you those choices. So you're going to choose more and you're going to save. Okay. And then once you've done that, that's when all of your custom pages that have been assigned to the more category will show here and the more category will show. So I wanted to make sure I covered that. Now, there's a variety of different types of pages that you can do. So for example, instead of code, let's say you just want it to link to your Zillow profile. Okay, let's say, oops. Let's say you just want it to link to your Zillow profile like that. Okay, um, so it's not really a custom page, it's just a link. So if you wanna do something like that, so new page, okay. So here I, I just, I wrote Zillow reviews and I didn't put anything in this custom area at all. I just put the link I wanted it to go to here and I put it under the category of more and then I saved that as a page and that's, that's all you gotta do, okay? Now, um, the other thing that you can do is you can actually type in, you know, content. So I, you know, this is my next project actually for KB Core is I'm gonna create several custom pages about neighborhoods and I'm gonna have neighborhood pages to create more content, SEO content on my website. And then inside the articles that I write about, I'm gonna have, um, I'm going to have, um, links to squeeze pages to generate leads too. So, so that's my next project, but you know, you don't have to get there. I'm not there yet. I'm just saying that's something that you could do. So I've got a variety of things now and I built this over time and that is something for you to look forward to. But again, you don't have to do all of this overnight. Um, okay. Um, but in it, I, again, I have this link on how to add the pages. All right. 